Rules of Integration. In this video, we are going to continue with the sum or difference rule. You will find this on page 315 in the Namibia IS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Find the following integrals. Now, do you see the square? So first we must go and multiply out this bracket. So you're going to, let's do the short way, you're going to square the first term, square the last term, multiply the two terms with each other and multiply it by 2. And that will give you x squared, that the x will cancel out there, just 2, and this will give you, it's actually 1 over x to the power of 2, and if it comes up, it's x to the power of negative 2. Very important. Keep the integral sign until you integrate, because you did not integrate here. You were just getting it ready to integrate. Now you're going to integrate. Now you can say y equals I add 1, I divide 3. Um, if there's only a constant, I just put the x. And then this is negative 2 plus 1, that's negative 1. I divide by negative 1, and don't forget your plus c. And then I can take, I can, uh, yeah, I can simplify this to become negative. I can leave it x to the power negative 1, but usually we make it positive indices. Okay, let's look at this one. In this one, again, I must now take this and this denominator and divide it in all the numerator terms. And that's what I did there. So then I will get 2 x to the power 7. This is just x. This is 1. And now, now I'm going to integrate. So I'm going to say 2. 7 plus 1 is divide 8. This is plus 1 divide 2. There's only a constant. So bring the x, add the x, plus c. And then I can just simplify this to a quarter, half. Always simplify. It must always be in the simplest form. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A, which is always easy. And then I want you to do, uh, let's see, and then I want you to do number F. And then on the next page, I want you just to, this is now a bit more challenging. I want you to do C and I want you to do D. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finish. Okay, number five. Let's start with number A. There's the integral sign. There is x. This is three minus four. This is an easy one. Okay, so first we keep the integral sign. We get it ready. So we multiply, that will be, uh, it's still always good to, um, I forgot the dx here. It's always good to always keep the bracket. And that will be x squared, and then don't forget dx. So the integral sign and the dx say I must integrate to x. Okay, and now I'm going to integrate. So now it's just going to be 3x2 over 2 minus 4. Add that 1, so it's 3, divide by that 3, don't forget your plus c. And can it simplify further? No, that's the final answer. Number f. There's my integration sign. There's my bracket, 1 minus 2x over square root x. And don't forget the dx. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it ready. Um, I'm going to do a little bit, maybe a longer step. Um, yes, D don't forget this is a half. So it's actually going to be 1 over x to a half. Take it out of the root. Minus 2x, x to a half. And don't forget, I integrate 2x. So if, I, if it comes up, I'm, I'm first going to bring this, I'm still, I still didn't integrate, that's why I keep the sign. So it's negative for half minus, now this is 1 minus a half, and that will just be a half. Okay. Now 
that will just be x to a half and still I'm going to integrate to x so now now I'm going to do it so I'm going to say it's minus a half plus 2 over 2 would just be a half and I divide by that half minus 2 x it's a half plus 2 over 2 and that's 3 over 2 and I'm going to divide by 3 over 2 plus c. And that is going to be, multiply the reciprocal, so it's 2, and I can take it back to the root form there, or I can leave it like that, minus. Now don't forget, and I'm going to write it here, it is 2 over 1, multiply the reciprocal, 2 over 3, and that's 4 over 3. And that is, again, I can take it out, so I can, in, in the root form, but I can leave it in, in fractions um, index also. Uh, but if I take it to root, then this will be plus C. And that will be my final answer. Okay, but as I said, as long, you can just not leave this. So if somebody was writing 2x a half minus 4 over 3, x 3 over 2 plus c he will also or she will also be correct okay let's go to the next page number two c okay now this is a bit more challenging dy by dx it means it's the derivative function it's differentiated Okay, so it was x to the power of 4 minus 10 over x square root x. Now, I think in this case, and I'm going to again do a little bit longer, you don't have to. Um, I just want to show you, this is, this is going to be, let me write it in red here, this is going to be x multiply x to a half. So what do I do? I add, add the, in, the ex, um, exponents. So it's one and a half, so it's three over two. So it's actually x three over two. Now let's use this pin. Okay, because it was that one plus a half. Now I can divide it. So I'm still with dy over dx, so it's going to be x4 divide x3 over 2 minus 10 over x3 over 2. D don't forget, I did not integrate yet. Now I'm first going to simplify. So this is going to be, and I'm going to write it every time here on the side, so it's 4 minus 3 over 2. So what is 4? It's actually 8 over 2. Let me just write it there for you. Really doing it long. Okay, so uh, for it's 8 over 2 minus 3 over 2. So that will be 5 over 2. So actually, it's going to be x and 5 over 2. Are you with me? And this is going to be 10x minus 3 over 2. And now I'm ready to integrate. So that usually in this format, we will just go to y. Okay? So it's x, and I'm going to do a little bit long, plus uh, 2 over 2. Now that will just be 7 over 2. So just write the final here. Minus 10, and again I do it long. I add, what's the denominator? 2 over 2. So this is going to be uh, negative a half. So I'm going to say divide negative a half plus c. And that's going to, okay, multiply with the reciprocal. So it's going to be 2 over 7. And it's x 7 over 2. Okay. 
a negative uh, divide the negative it's a positive multiply the reciprocal so multiply 2 over 1 so it will be 20 and it will be x to the power negative a half are you with me plus C. So if I want to take into roots and I want to take it positive, uh, I can do it like this 2 over 7x. And if I want to do a root just like this, plus 20. Now I can bring it down to a half, but if I take it to a root, then it's going to be square root x because it's coming. It's first going down, so it's x to a half, and if I take it to a root, it's underneath the square root. Then down for get your... Now, my pen, my pen. Plus C. Okay. Okay. If you, especially in the beginning, break it up. So, um, do it so that you don't make unnecessary mistakes. Um, later on, you can do it in less steps or if it's not necessary for you to do it in so many steps it's also correct as long as you come to the correct answer okay uh, the next one is going to be number d so dy by dx is equal to 2 square root x plus 3 over x square square root x oh square wow it's interesting okay let's just get that square nice again i'm going to break it up as many as possible so that we we don't make unnecessary mistakes i i think actually it's better if you do the long way in this one if you're rather going to say, okay, still remember dy by dx. If, you, if you're rather going to do it like this. Okay, I'm taking it out of the roots, definitely. Okay, uh, I'm definitely going to simplify this one first. So don't forget, if it was, if it's x, oh, I want to write it at the place where I'm not going to work. Uh, if it was x2 multiply x a half so it will be two and a half so it will actually two and a half so don't forget it's two and a half so it's it's four it's five over two that that would be better if we write it like that so and i bring it up and um, so let's make it like this i'm going to say three now first first leave it at, at the bottom we will now bring it up uh, otherwise you struggle with negatives so x 5 over 2 I, th I think that will be all right okay and now repeat this bracket I, I think it's going to be better if you're rather going to do it like this i'm writing it out again okay now i'm going to multiply out now don't forget um, this times this, so 2 times 2 is 4. At the exponents, a half plus a half will just be 1. Okay. If I multiply this, now remember that is on top, so it will be plus 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, it's x to a half. And at the bottom, it's, I will now simplify it again, 5 over 2. Okay. We will now simplify that further. Okay, now, okay, so let's see. It was times this one. Now I times this one. So it's going to be again 6. X exactly the same. Plus, and now 3 times 3 is 9 over X. Now it's 5 over 2 plus 5 over 2. That will be 10, okay, because, oh, let me write in another color, 5 over 2 plus 5 over 2, that will be 10 over 2. Remember, I add the exponents, the indices. So, uh, if it's 10 over 2, it's actually just going to be 5. 
Okay. Now I'm going to simplify it even further before I'm going to integrate. So this is going to be 6. Now it's a half. I'm going to write it again here for you. Oh, my space. Let's do it here. Then I have to take another color. So it's a half minus 5 over 2. And that is going to be negative 4 over 2. And that's going to be negative 2. Remember, this is exactly the same. And I'm going to bring this one up. Okay, and now the final. It's really long. You don't have to. This is like terms. Keep, keep the variable the same. Okay, okay. Now I'm ready to integrate. So y is equal to... 4, x1 plus 1 is 2 over 2 plus 12, x uh, plus 1 minus 1 plus 9, x uh, plus 1, negative 4, negative 4 plus c. Don't forget that plus c. And if I simplify this, I will get, so therefore, y equals 2x squared, uh, uh, positive divided by negative or multiply, it's a negative 12. Bring that x down to make it positive. Uh, oh, no, the sign is again here. Uh, this is going to be negative. Can you see again? Okay, if you multiply or divide. And then uh, divide if, if, if you take it there on top. And if you put a bracket, you can say multiply. Okay, but it's the same principle. Uh, or the same result. Let's rather say it like that. So it's 9 over 4, and then it's x to the power of 4. Okay? And then don't forget your plus c. And that will be your answer. So if, it's, if it looks complicated, just break it up into steps. Make sure your basic maths is correct and then you go for integration.